The kiss when Vice President Mike Pence took the podium at the March for Life in Washington, D.C. today. Tens of thousands turned out for the annual rally. The vice president called it the best day he's seen for the march in a long time. This administration will work with the Congress to end taxpayer funding abortion and abortion providers. And we will devote those resources to health care services for women across America. NBC's Kristen Dahlgren is there. Kristen. Hey there, Katie. Yeah, we're along Constitution Avenue in D.C. We're at about 6 now. This march started at 15th. As you can see, pretty constant stream of people. This is the 44th year that this annual march uh, is happening. But this year, historic. The first time that a sitting vice president spoke, and the first time in at least eight years that this crowd is feeling pretty optimistic. And if you look at them, you may notice a lot of young people out here. It, it, there are so many. Students for Life is an organization that helped bring them here. Kristen Hawkins is the president. How are you feeling today? We talk about optimism. Is that what you're feeling? This is what you're seeing today is an entire generation of pro-life young people who are excited about the new administration. They're excited about Congress and they're ready and they're willing to get to work. It's often hard to mobilize young people to do things, to vote, we hear a lot. It seems like so many of them came out. Was it difficult to get them on those buses? You know, it's always a logistical challenge organizing college students and high school students. We have over 1,100 groups in every state in our nation. But this is something that happens every year. This is the largest social movement mobilization our nation has, and we do this every single year. So we've got it down after 44 years of abortion. And we heard a lot from the speakers that this is the generation that's going to make the difference. This is the generation that's going to change the law. Is that what you're hearing from these young people? That's right. All of our polls show this, that this is the pro-life generation. This is the first generation of young people that reject abortion. They've seen their brothers and sisters via ultrasound. They know science is on our side. They are empowered and they're ready to end abortion. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. So there you have it, Katie. A lot of people, they're headed to the Supreme Court and then to uh, talk to their individual congressmen and women after that. Back to you. You know, I noticed that same thing, Kristen. Lots of young faces in that crowd. Kristen Dahlgren at the 44th Annual March for Life in Washington.